the Trump administration is officially going forward with its plans to roll back a new rule implemented by President Obama that would extend mandatory overtime pay to 4.2 million workers around the country. The U.S. Department of Labor asked for public comments, which is the first step in revoking or revising the rule. If implemented, the rule will double the maximum salary a worker can earn and still be eligible to receive overtime pay from employers rather than let it go straight into effect. The Trump administration is first asking for feedback on why it should be raised from the current threshold of $23,660 set in 2004, and if it should even be adjusted for inflation. Workers' rights groups say the rule is necessary because employers are giving employees low salaries with high work hour demands, sometimes 60 hours a week, in an attempt to run around overtime laws meant to protect workers. When announcing this proposal last summer, Obama said this is an issue of basic fairness. If you work longer and harder, you deserve to be paid for it. Trump's Labor Department has already hinted that they are considering eliminating the salary threshold entirely, which would mean that workers could be paid lower salaries for the same amount of work. Working people should not have to wait another day for the government to be on their side, Christine Owens, executive director of the union-backed National Employment Law Project said in a statement on Tuesday. One of the main reasons the Trump administration is stalling is due to an appeal currently taking place in federal court. They are waiting to see what ruling is announced.